Welcome to Mind May TV. This man, King John Mind May, season three. Five man, season three I got in this bitch. LeBron's on in this bitch. Shout out my nigga LeBron doing big shit. You know I'm gonna do big shit too, so we about to get it. Mind May TV, baby. So I'm taking the crown, boss. I'm taking the crown. I'm black and I'm proud. We united, started right. If we fall down, keep trying, keep trying. I will never change who I am. I will right never change. Now. All I'm thinking about is the blessings coming back. John, man, this is my mate. Season three. three. You know, the zone on what I'm doing and what I've been on since then. So, a lot has changed. You know, it's been almost two years since my May season two. So I got my deep, boy so Pat Werner B in here with me today. He about to go ahead and interview me. He gonna be my interviewer today. You know what I'm saying? And um, he dope with the beats. If y'all don't know, he produced my album, EYE. So, y'all gotta go check that out. It's on Apple Music, Spotify, all major streaming networks right now. Go check Kim that out. Kim John. Bro, bro. What's good? Man, shit, man. Just... Trying to get this money, trying to stay out the way, trying to make things happen, bro. That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for my May season three to go ahead and kick what off. What you been doing uh, since then, broski? Well, since season two, um, the reason why season two has been almost two years is because I, you know, I took some time off. I've been working. You know what I'm saying? Um, if y'all listen to my music, I finally got into Chrysler. You feel me? So you know, I put that on the track. If y'all didn't know, but I did that for a reason. You know, I did that to let people know that you can you can have a job and still make things happen. You feel me? A lot of people think you only got to be in the streets trying to make things happen. You can hustle and work like I'm trying to do now. So, but, yeah, that's all I've been doing, bro. I dropped the album. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I also dropped Soul Food since the last time um, My Made TV has been going on. So, I dropped Soul Food, the EP, and then I dropped uh, my album right here in February 14th. So. That's that's what I've been having working, you know, just staying out the way, man. You know, taking care of my son, making sure he's good. <laughs> what so. genre do you do you uh, classify yourself to be? Is it more gospel or more like trap, trap rap, hip hop? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad you asked me that, bro, because of the fact that like everybody continues to try to put me in the gospel box, and I'm not a gospel rapper. Like mm. for one, let, let, I want to explain something though. For one, I'm a conscious artist. I'm conscious. I'm a conscious person. I'm aware of a lot of things that a lot of people not aware of. You know what I'm saying? That's part of being conscious. Um, I'm not a gospel artist for a couple reasons. One main reason is the gospel is about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of uh, the Bible. Like, you know, the if, if it's a gospel, it's the gospel of King John that I preach. You feel me? So that's what you would call the gospel that I preach. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. I'm not a gospel artist. You feel me? I'm, I'm talking about my life and God and you can't put me in that box for another reason because I cuss, you know what I'm saying? I don't cuss, like, I'm, I dropped an EP called Soul Food. I didn't cuss in Soul Food, the whole EP. So people just thought like, oh, he don't cuss in his music, but that's not the case. Switch it up on You him. feel me? Quick. <laughs> and I, because if they would have been listening to my music, they'd know that I have dropped plenty of songs where I have cussed and not cussed and, you know what I'm saying? I just chose to take this whole EP and not cuss in it. But then I came back and switched it up on them again with EYE and I cussed. You feel me? So they kind of they kind of ain't know what to do with it. Like, like what is he doing? They know, you know how to saying? take that. Yeah, but if they listen to Soul Food, even though I didn't cuss, I was still talking about the same type of elements. You feel me? The street and how how you got to come from it and, and the shit I done been through and the shit I seen and, and the things that has, you know, shaped my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it makes you different than other you, people. You feel me? A lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm not a gospel rapper. If you would put me in the genre, my genre is hip hop and soul. You know what I'm saying? That's a new genre that nobody knows about. It's called hip hop and soul. I'm in my own lane. And okay. if you listen to my music, you it speak for it. You know what I'm saying? You can't put me in no box. I'm not you don't even know how to take it. You know what I'm saying? So Don't hate it for being different. You feel me? That's what they doing. And wait, another thing too, bro, I just feel like there's a lot of niggas it's like a lot of uh a lot of guys is hating on me about the fact that I am different in my music like they 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 want me to be a gospel rapper because they don't want me to be you know a rapper in the same category as them because if that's the case then you know they have to up their shit they don't have to up their shit up and they don't want to do that they want to be like no he's just a gospel rapper so that's why he you know he sound like that no nigga i'm a dope ass rapper i'm a dope artist you feel me that's why i sound like that so 
Y'all gotta stop trying to put me in that box and just accept the fact that King John is one of the coldest rappers downriver and the shit in Michigan and fucking the United States. Real shit. Period. Uh, that's all it is. So, Period. Let's yeah, get it. You got it, any you know uh, thing upcoming for the future? As far as projects going? Uh, yeah, definitely, bro. I got a. Uh, I'm I'm planning on dropping a, a mixtape. Um, it's gonna be called Mine Made the Mixtape Volume Two, and I plan on dropping that for the summertime. Um, I'm debating on how I want to do it, so if I do that, that'll be coming out. Um, and I definitely plan on dropping an album, a, no, a whole nother album, um, if not by the end of the year, the beginning of uh, 2020. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm not gonna drop any names yet because I don't want y'all to get too excited, but um, because I'm good at changing up shit, so I'm not even gonna drop no names for y'all right now because I messed around and told y'all it's gonna be called. The, the resurrection and then it fuck around because you know the death <laughs> you feel me so we go we go get to that but uh but as far as features features uh features king john don't do features so i don't except, really, uh, listen, except rj I, my okay shout bro, out my nigga uh reg reggie we gotta get man. reggie out there reggie reggie definitely is one of the dopest artists and uh if y'all really watch me or you know listen to me Check out my my song on top, EYE. You know what I'm saying? Check out EYE and check out on top. It's a song with my man's Reggie Tucker when he shit fire. He, it's fire, shit Red, fire. <laughs> the beat called shout out to Pack Runner <laughs> yeah. B. You know what I'm saying? The the verse is dope. Shout out King John and Reggie Tucker. And then uh, the way that the 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 way that the uh, the quality is. Shout out to Crutch. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole song is dope. The way that Reggie came on the track. You know what I'm saying? Like just. Check out Reggie Tucker. Shout out to Reggie Tucker. You know what I'm saying? The only feature on my whole album. So only one. The only the only feature on my whole album. So check that out. And like you said, bro, I don't do features like that. But um a little spoiler. I got it. I got I do have a feature. Uh I sent the beat out to uh Big Good. Shout out Big Good. Um uh, we supposed to be getting together soon. Um a lot of stuff with that going on. So Big Good, uh local down river artist, you know what I'm saying? Um dope a dope a dope artist a dope person you know what i'm saying so that might be coming soon so be be on the lookout for that I, that's the only one i'm gonna give y'all because uh it is a couple other ones that i have talked about doing but i might not do them depending on how i'm feeling so you know that my feature game is different because of the fact that i can't feature with everybody because we not gonna mix so right you know that's all that is after my may season three is over y'all be looking out for season four Look out for season four of Mom Made TV. That's gonna be coming right up after. So we not stopping. We back on. We about to try to keep it going as much as we can. Um, we not gonna be doing the, all interviews either. We gonna be doing where we go out and actually talk to people and ask questions and all this stuff. Like it's different. Mom Made TV is evolving and different. So even this season on Mom Made TV, you are gonna see a lot of different things. So a lot of different concepts. So King John, what's your beliefs in God, bro? Well, my belief in God, like I tell everybody, and um, even on my album, I said, um, God is the masculine, feminine forces of the universe, and it, God cannot just be a man. God cannot just be a woman. So when you say he or you say she, you're taking away from one part of God. With God, it has to be both, both parts. So you can address God as he or she without feeling like you're wrong about it. And when I pray, honestly, I pray, and when I at the end of my prayer. My trinity that I speak when everybody say uh, the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, or, you know, Brahma, uh, Shiva, and uh, Vishnu, or, you know, whatever the, the, you know, all these different things that they have, different trinities. Um, mine is in the name of the Mother, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. And I say, your son, King John. That's how I address God when I pray. So anybody who wants to know my relationship with God is that, is that. You know, that's how I end my prayers, you feel me? And that's just me. So you don't have to be like me and none of that, but I do it because I want to address the mother and the father. I don't want to just address the father or just address the mother. I want to address both because both powers have influenced my life and give me the, the power that I have of the good and the evil, the bad, and the, the, the just and unjust. It, get, it gives me balance, you feel me? So that's my belief on God, bro. So I hope that everybody understands that, like, I'm not a Christian, I'm not a, uh, a Baptist, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not an uh, atheist, I'm not uh, a Judaist, I'm not, I'm not none of that. I'm, what I am is King John, 
a son of God. So, that's well, yeah, I mean. good looking again, bro. Hi, y'all. You feel me on this interview? Hey, feel me like this shit, you know? I can already tell how you about to edit this shit. It's gonna be cold. You feel me? Turn over, have a ride. Sex without violence. Feel so right. Body on autopilot.